Afternoon West in the World. Welcome to your review video for Tuesday, February the 11th, following uh, the lecture on the end of the Ancien Regime. Uh, the lecture that we had yesterday uh, was in some ways a, a, a veritable smorgasbord of people and ideas. We wandered rather widely through economics, religion, uh, and the arts in tr exploring uh, the changes that were taking place in 18th century Europe and in ways in which people thought about the world they lived in. I, I don't want to go back and rehash uh, the details of those changes and the names of all of those new contributors, uh, but what I hope that you picked up in all of that is that the 18th century is a time in which new questions are being asked in virtually every area of life. Uh, it is a time in which people are beginning uh, to raise important questions that are going to have long-term uh, significance. The place where those changes are going to be felt most acutely was the place where we started the day, uh, which is in the, the questions about the established social order uh, of European life. We concentrated on the estate system in France, which we said was an example of the way in which society itself was generally organized throughout Europe. We talked about uh, the first and second estate, the members of the clergy and the nobility, uh, and the privilege that they enjoy uh, relative to that of the members of ship of the third estate, the commoners of European society. In France, of course, the crux of the issue is going to be the question of taxation. Who's contributing to the upkeep of this state and its uh, lavish lifestyle, its expensive wars, uh, the maintenance of an absolute monarch? If you remember only one thing, I suppose that the thing to remember would be this, that it's the bourgeoisie, the emerging middle-class people who are members of that third estate but who are increasingly well-educated, increasingly wealthy, and increasingly exposed to enlightenment patterns of rationality and reason uh, who are about to transform European life. They're the ones most discontent with the way that things are. They're the ones who are about to ignite the era of the French Revolution, which we will talk about tomorrow. See you in class.